Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mugglover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, playing as the Protectron Security Hub. So we're going to leave historical AI focuses off, and I have no idea what is going to happen in this campaign, but let's talk about the mods I'm using. I'm, I'm using Colored Buttons, Colored Events, Blood Peace Conferences, State Transfer Tool Mod, uh, obviously Old World Blues, as well as the Protectron's Expanded Old World Blues sub-mod for Old World Blues, and I love this little flag, but let's start with a... National focus. Shutting down. When the bombs finally fell, emergency protocol Charlie was initiated in order to preserve the integrity of the security hub from foreign invasion. Ah, really quick. Ah, uh, and protocol one. Now, I'll be honest, I love this. I love the options that we have here. As you can tell from the thumbnail, we're probably going to go down with Dougie here. Uh, American is apple pie. Oh my god, look at that attack. Oh, 80% attack. Oh, Oh, this isn't too bad. A thousand plus promotion costs? Holy crud. Wild Bale Hickok? Oh, my dad loves reading about him. Uh, I, I, you gotta go with a dude that gives you plus 80% attack. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Woo! That makes me happy. Uh, to be like, like I said, I, I, I get to play this mod. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but we are advanced. Any buffs? Anything like that? No? No? Cool, cool, cool. Okay, that's okay. Let's uh, just do the normal old world blues setup. Oh, actually, I have some of this stuff that's done already. Clay working awesome. Uh, we are robots. We work as needed. What else do we have done here? Do some of that. And maybe begin doing a. Oh, look at this. We already have a lot of this done already. Land Doctrine? Yes, automated warfare. Very good. Now, let's see. We only have combat robots for now, which is, which is okay. Could be worse. Could be better. Uh, I'm going to probably stay with this just because it's cheaper for Protectrons. Let's go with that for now. We'll need some guns eventually, maybe. We'll see what happens. Actually, we definitely will be needing some guns. Because all we have is militia and security patrols. Not only eight combat with. God dang, that's actually not that good. Get two at a time. We don't have that much manpower, which is fine. Cool. Shutting down. We have National Spear. Beating back the dogs. Ooh, that actually hurts our political power by quite a bit. I don't like that whatsoever. Oh my goodness. So, on October 23rd, 2077, the bombs fell and the world was plunged into ruin. Emergency protocol Charlie, the security protocol for Rob Coast Wyoming Division initiated, caused all production in the facility to cease and all protectrons to go into stasis. This was to be a temporary measure until the eventual all clear was given. It was assumed that any emergence of war would not cause major societal collapse and in, in the worst case scenario, Vault dwellers would emerge in a decade, flip the switch, and return production to normal. That, though, never happened. The factory lay dormant for centuries, with the exception of one automated division, which accidentally carried on diligently, working as long as it could. So we get some accounting department? Maybe? Not bad. Automated R&D? Okay, that's okay. Or manufacturing plugged away until resources dwindled. Three more material thingamabobs. Three more circuitry. And we get some units added to our stockpile. I love the stability though. Hmm. Let me see. Are we using that stuff already? We already are. So let's go ahead and do this. Cool. Starting up. For decades, the security hub remained in stasis until an intrepid wastelander installed a curious holotape found deep in the bowels of Ol Yoming. Oh, I love it. Love it. Cool. So uh, like I said, I, I don't have any idea how this mod is going to play out. Except that we're going to go down with Dougie. In the future, if, this, if there is enough support for me to continue playing this mod, we will play with Wild Bill Hickok, as well as... Crazy Horse. I think it's Crazy Horse. Strike against Yampa. Uh, let's double check. Yeah, Crazy Horse. Cool. Rob Coe's Wyoming Division sat untouched for years until intrepid scavenger swiped a prototype hologram from the ruins of Old Yoming, the ruins of a local university. The university had partnered with the local Rob Coe facility to create a living history exhibit, and two days before the bombs fell, a holotape was produced that contained three experimental AI, each modeled after a famous American. The first was the great American General Dougie Mackey, who was designed to emulate the aggressive, unyielding nature of his namesake. The second was the iconic Native American hero, Crazy Horse, who was shared, or who, who was shared, who shared his inspirations, tenacity, and cunning. Finally, the third was Western folk hero, Wild Bill Hickok, who was equipped with advanced targeting AI intended for performing intricate gun shows. The scavenger, curious as to what exactly this program entailed, transferred the desk into the Dolman security hub and worked away. Soon enough, the facility was humming once again. War support and daily elite support, uh, people support stability, or send volunteers, send volunteers, we don't send volunteers. Mac, the way forward. 
Servo spinning. Now operation of the three AI began to restore what was lost. Oh, we have, yeah. Yep, more daily elite support. Ah, what an elitist. And that's people ah, down here. The Federalists. Ah, oh, Federalists. So, the mysterious wasteland who resurrected Robco, Wyoming, now nicknamed the Protectron Security Hub, was quickly eliminated by the defensive protocols of the facility, but thanks to him, the hub was now fully up, up, up operational, with two Ps. The third sentient Protectrons sensed a kinship between them and agreed to rule in unison, calling themselves the new Triumvirate. They quickly faced their challenge. Technically, the city of Laramie was under the control of a decrepit ghoul named the Old Dog. Securing independence was paramount, but feral ghouls from the ruins of Denver threatened the security of the facility. Each general had the aptitude to secure the city's freedom, but one Protectron's plans won out in the end. Army XP gain, division attack plus 6%. Defense, max entrenchment speed looks actually really good. Max entrenchment for a while, Bill, looks awesome. Crazy Horse, oh, that's pretty good too. Uh, but I... I'm going to go, like, straight Mac Daddy for now. So, protect and serve. After driving the dogs from the city, the security hub now stands at a crossroads. We must protect and serve. I love that little image. I love the glasses on him. And I had to manually add on the little pipe on the thumbnail. God, I love that corn pipe. Hmm. Cool. The war for liberty was swift, and the ghouls were pushed to the fringes of the territory. However, a second problem emerged. The new triumvirate were vaguely aware of their limitations and accidental sentience granted through the pre-war era. Each general had its own plans to enact, but they must reconcile these or those plans with their directive to protect and to serve. Unilaterally, the triumvirate decided that the West End needs our protection. Oh my gosh. Or the West End shall serve us. Mm. You know, I'm looking at that manpower right now. If we get 5% right now, that might be all that we really need for the campaign. Probably not. They shall serve us. And even though this is better for Justify War Goals time, I, I, the 5%, we protect the waste, something Mac Daddy should do. What, that's what he would want, right? The First Council, though. The new Triumvirate has called its First Council to strategize ways to direct the nation. Absolutely. Oh, we need so many support robots, it's not even funny. Oh, my goodness. But at least we got three more things of circuitry than what we... Uh, started with, which is always very nice. And oh, that's 14 days. Oh, we get 100 political power too. Very good. Olympus Road was annexed. We still have the Iron Alliance Forgers. It's I have almost never started off in California except when I played as the Iron Alliance once. So MacArthur, Crazy Horse, and Hickok met to discuss the future of the security hub. While well, Laramie was not threatened at an instant. Traders and travelers report that a sizable host of insurrectionists have gathered under the popular banner of a man called Kaiser. Further to the west, an illegal rebellion has formed a government that dictates all of California. It seems that the U.S. have all but evacuated the west coast. Yet, despite facing a nearly insurmountable task, the Triumvirate cannot unilaterally decide on a course of action. MacArthur's primary aim is to restore the federal government, but neither Wild Bill nor Crazy Horse seems keen on that idea. Instead, Crazy Horse believes that the best course of action is to liberate the tribes that the federal government subjugated in the first place. Hickok, on the other hand, simply believes that forming a government lead by the, led by the people's best, and that the new frontier takes precedence over the desire to relive the past. The First Council breaks apart very quickly, and no decisive plan is implemented. A disunited council. I am not clicking on that yet. Nope, nope. You can't force me to click on that. Yampa time, huh? Robco. Ooh, an arms workshop. Send in the sheriffs. Of course, all states owned by Yampa? Yes, please. How strong are they? Because if they're not that strong, we'll go to Oh, five division? What's that? Hmm. We could do really well against them. Can we afford that yet? Hmm. Construction speed. That stuff looks really good. Checking the spam folder. That's cool. Oh, that looks really good. Begin rebuilding. Oh, that's not bad. Resource efficiency gain. Food commission, which we we have to do eventually. That's not bad either. Actually, that it gives us more weekly stability. Nice. Let's do this one first. Restore Robco's primary assembly. Although it set the hub back significantly in the last in the development game, emergency protocol Charlie at the very least prevented major damage to the Robco factory. With determination, with determination, getting a fraction in, of it back online shouldn't be an impossibility. Good. We got some more political power. What can we do to make ourselves? Great. Oh, that's not bad. Conventional warfare, though, I'm not really feeling that one. Artillery, what do we have here? Let's let time go on first. Oh, that's not bad. Pre-war simulated tactics. Adaptive learning, I like that. I love adaptive learning. Aggressive, oh, yes. Reserved, that's not bad, but reserved. Offensive, I like being offensive. An honest speaker, not bad. That. This is going to come in 303. 
Person of the community? Ooh, you know me. I gotta get that person of the community. I am one with the community, even though I don't go outside very often. Actually, that's a lie. Sometimes I do. Occasionally. Depending on the day. Or the month. Or if I have a job. Cool. Especially if these guys are only 8 combat with. I mean, honestly, we probably can win and beat the enemies. Oh, no. Why do you hurt me? What have I done to you? Alright, we'll go to war next. Uh... Oh, that's so bad. Oh, why? Why do you have to hurt me like that? Point two, eight. Oh my goodness. Why? 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 Yeah, we got the more manpower, but Armageddon at their door. Oh my goodness. Kicking the dogs. Yeah, let's go to war against Yampa. I mean, that just we might as well. Yeah, again, we get a few more protector units, which is actually really good, and another factory, which is actually very good as well. But mm, we do want two more. I think we just went down by one. There you go. Nice. Hey, we got a surplus now. Cool. Struck against Yampa. To our west lies an insig insignificant tribe. It is our sworn duty to protect them through excessive force. Because what's the point of having a first episode if you don't have a little bit of action? Right? Sometimes episodes have to be like that, but if we can help it, we might do a little patrol in the wasteland ourselves. At least we got another division. These guys shouldn't be that strong. Okay, they won 15. That's. That's quite a bit, not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> yeah, for battalions, especially since we only have four, not really good for us. We have, like, no army XP, but we'll make do. We'll learn to make do. We're gonna get paid to install Fisto. Who's fisting? Leader of the intellectuals. I, 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 I'm confused. Who the heck is Fisto? We want to go down here, too, but we can't do that. But we're becoming elite, so we'll get there eventually. Cool, let's go ahead and revitalize R&D. Land Doctrine. What do we do with all these Protectrons? Well, our one major strength is that we have robots. A lot of them, or we should. We should strategize ways to, for to utilize them effectively. Yes, absolutely. We don't want to waste robots. Robots are precious until we have too many of them. Gliders it is. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Didn't need words for. Oh, they're almost out of manpower. Oh, oh, they only have two or four divisions. Oh, they set up to what? Fourteen? <laughs> Man, why the why the game lie to me? Why? Vidya game, why'd you lie? All right. So how how strong is this division? Two to fourteen. Okay, that's, so that's still pretty strong, but still. Go ahead and help them out. Don't even let them move. Oh man. Go ahead and just start mopping up all this territory here. Don't get encircled, but yeah, just destroy them. And there'll be no problem. Good. Go ahead and just try to move around uh, a little bit like that. Ah, song from the front. Great security. Protector on security hub forces the fight heroically against our enemies. And one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We should, we could play this throughout the nation or rather the nation to the cost. I almost always choose war support because it's so useful. So, yeah, war support. Always good to get. And they're gone. Great. You guys go here. You guys. I'm going to send Protect on 5 to go to Yampa. You guys come down here. Steamboat Springs. Little Snake. While we're struggling down here. Which is fine with me. So we can actually get a little more army XP. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. That's really, really, really not good. Oh. Please, baby, don't hurt me anymore. Troll Warren. Cool, cool, cool. I wonder if they're actually going to be strong in this campaign. The Troll Warren. I mean. Come to Craig. Norlin. Nolan. Little snack. Oh, no, 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 no. This way, this way. There you go. That's how you do it. Keeping these guys occupied. Oh, we have two divisions there. That's actually not too, not, not too bad. Come on, take that little snack. Ah, oh, I thought it would be enough. Yes. Thank you, Yampa. Oh, almost in time for us to do this one, too. Uh, then we're going to go, go to war with the doggos. Or the painted men. Do we like painted men more or doggos more? Cool. Send in the sheriffs. We've defeated the tribal through the west. It is time we establish law and order there. New leadership, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I think, I think it's time for dogs. Gotta put some doggos down. I'm sorry. I love the dogs, but they serve us. Or we serve the, the wasteland. Which means you're going to serve us. <laughs> yeah. That's what it means. Uh, Yeah. Crowd control. I love crowd control stuff. It's so good. But point two eight. That just breaks my heart. You know, I, if you follow my channel, you know I love PP. Political power is just king in my in my book. But mm. also, uh, yeah, don't use that. There you go. Put some pacification for now. We don't have the means to do this at all, but but that does help 
with a robot stuff for now. We should do okay. And actually, can I make one of those guys, like, leader? Uh, promotion cost that goes up, that's fine. More defense, recovery rate, attack. Um, planning speed, let's have him go on. More speed, less supply consumption. I think promoting him would be best. Okay, never mind. The promotion cost is a little too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, oh, that's not bad. Oh, okay. Hey, he's American as apple pie. 80%? Jesus Christ, that's so OP. I love it. Woo! Go grab that. More local workspaces. Out of manpower, but we won't be for very long. Just a couple, like, a few more weeks and we'll have, like, a bunch of manpower. And factories to use, actually. That'll come in handy. Uh, that looking nice. Man. Someday I will play as a cause. I mean, look at that. That looks so nice. Those borders. It, if you think about it, this looks like a really jagged Oklahoma. I don't know why I thought of that. But this is a jagged Oklahoma. Right? That's right. That's gotta be right. It's awesome. Oh, 12 guys. No line. Gliders. Go ahead. It's 2275. And we should have this done very soon. Come on. Just a week left. Come on. I know the game's just a little laggy, but we can do this. We can do this. Come on. Three days, three days. Marrow drink. Oh, uh oh. That's not good for them. That's not good. And. You put a smile on my face, sheriffs. Thank you. For the painted man, we're going to kick in the dogs. Those mangy mutts have been a thorn in our side for too long. If we wish to bring security and trade to the region, then preventing humans from seeing those creatures' ugly faces is justification enough. Ah, uh, look at that. We had manpower. And we're mobilizing more still. We get up to 9%, which, even though Old World Blues, it says 9%, you end up getting a little bit more than just 9%, which is always nice. Look at that. We actually have manpower. We have factories. Wow. We believe in factories? Well, we can. Oh, we we might have some damage factors, but we can make some of this too. And planes. I love planes. Planes. I love, love, love planes. Oh, actually, this is not looking good. Um. Hmm. I know what to do. We're gonna push this. We're gonna abuse this division over here. Yeah, that ghost division, ghoul division. I mean, we're gonna have these two guys beat up four, one, two, three. Beat these guys up. Human targeting firmware. Good. And do that too. Cool. Oh, we got one right here. Go ahead and do this one next. Come on. Nice. Good. Oh, uh, urban edge. Yeah, well, let's do this one first. This seems pretty useful. So while the former tribe lands, tribe lands of Yampa will be vital in the upcoming struggle, they're poorly undeveloped, uninhabited, and wholly underwhelming. The epicenter of the territory would make a practical capital to govern the region. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I really don't. I really, really don't. You know what? Uh, not enough equipment. Let's get one more division out first. I think that'd be pretty useful for us first. Before we do too much else. And then we're gonna go to, go to wool. Nice. Come on. Give me that one division. All you need is just two more robos. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, I love it. Cool. That actually helps us out quite a bit. Because there's so many tiles here. The capture of the Warren. I kind of figured that would happen. Yeah, I kind of figured. Cool. Give it a little more organization because we're going to have to really attack. Really. This is not good. Hmm. Mm. We could form a defensive line. Cut him off. Or maybe we wait and go to war with Painted Men. Huh? Yeah, Painted Men actually might be easier for us. Yeah, let's do that one first. Do we have, a, do we have an expiration date for this? We just need a little bit more time to get more soldiers. That's really the deal here. Yeah. Yeah, they have a few too many guys. I know they can't pierce us, but even then, like, if I was playing as these guys, it wouldn't be too difficult for me to take out myself. Because they have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine divisions. Sure, we have seven. But with all these small little provinces here, it, that becomes very difficult to manage. Especially if we have to manage that, and they, like... These three provinces only have, are facing one, or technically four. So that's not really cool from our side. So mm, we have to wait just a little tiny bit longer. Just a tiny bit longer, I promise, guys. We'll, go, we'll put them dogs down. Them feral dogs will be put down eventually. Now, we could have a problem over here, but I doubt it'll really happen. Oh, Marley Trap Fort, Fort Maw. Huh. That's interesting. I don't remember seeing that happen too often, actually. That's pretty early on. Oh, and the Royals killing off. We're trying to fight the Western Brotherhood. Good luck, guys. Y'all probably going to need it. And urbanizing Yampa. Three more civilian factories. 4,000 more manpower, maybe. Well, kind of, not really. Let's go ahead and 
paint the Colorado red. The men beyond the Yampa territory claim they're painted, which doesn't make any sense. You can't paint a human. We should consider inspecting this phenomenon earlier, or further, or faster. And eh, maybe with a couple planes here and there. Go and grab that. I don't really care if it's ahead of time. Manpower-wise, we're doing great. Factory-wise, well, we're a little lacking. And that's okay. Actually, so we're, we're doing that. we got like 25 days left. Favoring Dino. We get civilian factories some more resources. Dinosaur Caverns are renamed Dino Town. Cores all states are favoring Moab. Huh, get some more resources. Cores, cores all states by the painted men. Dino Town sounds amazing. Get 1,000 in an arms workshop. You get civilian workshop. 248. 248. Um, so it's either composite materials or the other one. So is this one, we definitely need advanced components. Yeah, we definitely have to get advanced components. Oh, I want Dino Town. That sounds, I sound like a kid. I want Dino Town, come on. Oh, man. But this just gives, gives us an arms workshop. We're going to favor Moab probably, though. <sighs> so close. Cool. But let's do this one first. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Well, that's just revitalizing R&D. So, Robco, Wyoming never served as a research center. Beyond the su success of the triumvirate, the very popular Brubot, discontinued in 2074, it's, it is, it only produced protectrons. We should aim to change that. Yes. Quite a bit. Alright, so we should do okay here regardless of what happens. They got mountain gods. Well, the gods aren't going to save them against American Steel. You can try your best, but if you can't pierce me, Mac Daddy's going to smack you down. Alright, uh, just head on down here. I like, go straight down. Good. I'm glad that our guys started attacking because I because we that's an open hole here, but not too worried about it. We've lost a total of a couple no guys, no robos. Mac Daddy's happy about that. Mac Daddy's really happy about that. Go and grab the next one. Good. 671. 600, 700 losses for them. 800, roughly 900. We have no casualties. God, that warms my cold hot. My cold steel hot. And makes Mac Daddy happy. I got. Yeah, we're playing with Mac Daddy. Douglas MacArthur. Do we get the option to get a free nuke? Or at least get a nuke? Have a Mac Daddy, no nuke, because, like, what's the point? Uh, let's see. Can we do anything here yet? We could, but it might be best to wait. We have a couple factorinos here. Eh, we can wait, probably. Economics expert, infrastructure, civilian. That's not bad. That's not going to probably wait, though. Head physician, non core manpower, justify work all sounds, war support, 10% is not bad. Production policies. I'm going to do this one eventually. Oh, what do I want? Let's just be aggressive. Revitalize R&D. These wars. I didn't even get in time to make another another division yet. I thought we'd have another division by now, but uh, I guess not. Go ahead and pop them out then. Good. Let's go and favor Moab with the addition of the Upper Colorado Territory. We must choose a seat of local government. Moab sits upon the Colorado River, so it's both accessible to clean water and trade. However, we'll irradiate Dino's miners and lose access to its mineral reserves. <sighs> Unfortunately, like in life, sacrifices must be made. Actually for these, with a dog's attack bonus, that's not bad. This, with that extra one division, we should do okay. Let's see. Uh, they immediately attack me, which I kind of figured what would happen. You keep them there. We're going to cut these guys all off. So we have to be careful how we do this. Can you get up to there? If you can, go up this way and try to encircle them. That's just a big thing here. Just trying to encircle guys. Um, they can't do very much to us. Ooh, quality... Yeah, I, I, quantity, uh, minus 10% division attrition really means not a whole lot, so. Good, you beat him up. We're going to cut them all off. I should have just went for Fort Collins first, but whatever. Come on, we cut them off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If we can go straight for Fort Collins, it'd be great. Keep these guys in place. Keep these guys in place. Do not let them move. Do not let them move. Yeah, you guys come here and then do that. Good, keep them in place. We have a division encircle. We might be able to do another encirclement right here. You guys come back. Hold. Come on, get over here. That ain't much. Good. Hey, we cut these guys off. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Now, we might get cut off here, which is not a good thing. 
Keep them in place. Go ahead and start killing them off with more frequency. Good. I want you guys to get up to Red Mountain. Take their uh, supply bases. Good. Kill them off. Kill them off. I know we don't have a lot of spare robots. That's okay. Go ahead and that way. Go ahead and move that way. So four, even just taking four columns didn't do very much for us. Actually, if anything, you guys... Oh, crap. They caught on to us. Grab your territory. Good. Go that way. Let you all go, because these guys can beat them up. Hey, we killed off that Division 2. We've lost a total of a few guys, maybe? Maybe? Go up that way. Hopefully we didn't lose anyone yet. We lost four columns, but that's fine. This is just what we need to focus on first. Good. Just gonna take that. Good. Oh, crap. I knew this would happen. I knew we'd get encircled. Please break through. Please, 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 please. Woo. You should be able to. Like, you really can't stand up to us too much. Oh, you're up here too? Can you rush that, maybe? You might be able to. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Can we get over there? No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No, no. No, 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 Get back over there. Don't let them cut us off. Oh, no, you don't. Man, we've been... Oh, we got... Oh, that was a little scary. Go, 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 go. Don't give them time. Don't give them peace. No rest for them wicked evil doers. Those evil ghouls. Good. Beat them up. Favoring Moab. Nice. Very nice. Rebuilding Robco. Oh, are we almost there? I don't want to... You know what? I'll uh, not do a focus right now. That should be enough. That should be enough to... Yes, I called it, my friends. I called it. Oh, we even got a doctor, too. Purging the homelands? or oh, the houndlands. We get purism. Less weekly manpower, though. Oh, by 10. It's only 10, but... Daily compliance gains goes up. Beating back the dogs. Or amnesty for traitors. We lose stability. Quite a bit. We get paternalism, which gives, gives us weekly manpower. Weekly stability... Ooh, amnesty. Oh, God. Oh, no. Honestly, it would probably not be a Douglas... Would it be a Douglas MacArthur thing to give him amnesty? I want to say no, as much as I want more weekly stability and weekly manpower. It hurt... Does And I've already penalized my weekly, my Justify World Goals time, so... We'll go purge him. We shall drive these ghouls, losers of two wars now for my lands. Let's say for the tank to America. And that's only minus 10 weekly manpower. We'll probably get that much in a month. Or 40 in a month, so... Damage garrisons go way down. Yeah, you don't treat us like this, you bunch of pieces of garbage. Cool, good, good. Do we have any ships? No, we don't. That sucks. That's okay, though. That's what I kind of figured. Cool, do that. We're going to focus on this, too, once we get enough factories. That'd be great. Purge in the Houndlands. I... So far, I think the Protectron Security Hub is looking pretty good. I don't know about you, but it's looking pretty darn nice right here. And we've got plenty of manpower. Yeah, we get 25 a month, so that, that's a little bit more than half of what we're going to lose in a single month, so... Not really too worried about it then. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty darn good. We have any more research coming along. Uh, four days for decode signals. Good. Very good. Come on. Good. Do some more encryption. Resource wise, we we got a lot of guns. That's that's a lot of guns. Support equipment's looking nice. We're even getting some fighters early on. Infantry armor's coming along just a little bit. Support robots. We will need to get some heavy robots. I do plan on mostly only using robots in this campaign. Which is actually a good question to ask. How far should we go with this campaign? Protector and Security Hub? I'm thinking. If we're playing with Mac Daddy trying to restore the United States, I think we probably take out everyone here. That's probably a good goal. Do you agree that we should probably take out the entire wasteland? I think that's a good that's a good goal. Let me know in the comments below. Hmm. Begin a scavenging program. We could do that, but I don't want to save a civilian factories for as long as possible. And we've got a measly three days left with this. And as we take more territory, we can make more babies every month. Hopefully. Hopefully people are making babies appropriately in the wasteland. Cool. Plant cultivation is great as well. The second council. It is time the triumvirate met, or met again to discuss the future of the security hub. Absolutely. Robotics. Reliability. Reliability is always a good thing to get. Nice. 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 We might go to war with these guys next. I don't actually, what's in the next, next part of the focus tree, actually? 
We're gonna go with MacArthur Caesar's commands. Encourage arms productions, more workshops, cool. Air range, air superiority. Not bad. Motorized, which I still haven't used yet. Attempt to rebuild railroads. That's not bad. I like that. Wyoming Rangers? Hmm. That sounds like a lot of fun. Purism, huh? And we do get 1.82 political power. Really, 0.82 every day. So, while on the outside, things look promising for the security hub. Political tension is high. Each general has been secretly plotting to assume control over the army, and by extension, the nation. MacArthur's patriotism is more fervent than his siblings, and he truly believes that he can save America. Crazy Horse, though, was always skeptical of the plan, and instead sees an opportunity, opportunity, to resurrect the Sioux Nation and strike back against the men living in the North. Wild Bill simply wants a prosperous republic and would rather civilize the native tribes to the West. Each brother knows there's no reconciliation to be had, that he must win or see his ambitions shatter. At the Second Council, Crazy Horn, eh, it's not bad. Wild Bill, MacArthur. We gotta go with Mac Daddy. See his commands. I do want to get over here though. Let's get some more construction speed first to rebuild Rob. Go with the primary assembly back online. We should attempt to get the facility working to the best we possibly can. Ah, uh, MacArthur's Trump. Cool. And I, before we end, I do want to see if there's any way for us to get more war goals against anybody before I begin justifying on them do other doggos. Oh, what is that? Ooh, the foragers. Okay, we got foragers. Anything else? We have forges, forges. Ooh, disgruntled military. That's not good. Uh, sugar bombs. That's not bad. Sugar bomb question. Strengthen the power of the executive. Mastery of a machine looks quite mighty nice. Across the color. Yinto? So we got Yinto. Forges. Three pointees. It seems pretty good. And the reason I chose MacArthur for this first campaign with the Protectron expanded sub mod is because he has I Shall Return here. So, I don't see it for anywhere else. This is the focus but regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see all y'all tomorrow when we go to war with the Iron Alliance and continue to protect America under Daddy MacArthur. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.